are working on a, a lot of indicators for sustainability in livestock production. Uh, mainly uh, what we are focused on is to reduce land use and uh, increase productivity. So this is the main uh, subject that we are talking in Brazil and when we increase productivity we also decrease or reduce the emissions. Uh, from the, the beef production uh, perspective, uh, a lot of uh, projects, tools to implement and to reduce methane emissions. For example, uh, we have um, this integrated crop, livestock and forest systems. It's a tropicalized products, production system that we have in Brazil and we can use the same land to uh, have three crops in the same year soybean, corn and livestock in the same area in the same year. So this is one point that we can reduce emissions and also reduce uh, land use and of course when we look at that we are reducing the environment, uh, environment uh, impacts. So uh, we have another technologies that we are in using and implementing in Brazil as well. So when we reduce the age of the slaughter uh, the slaughter of the animals, we also decrease emissions. So we have numbers, studies and, and facts that proves that our product, production, uh, beef production is uh, getting uh, more, produ uh, more uh, product productive and also less impact, in environmental impacts. Excuse me, today also from the Italian side, Gian Santi told that uh, they are trying to understand how to make a better um, sustainable uh, activity uh, that is not easy uh, to understand what is sustainable. And you did a study about uh, a manual uh, about that. How do, do you arrive at this target? Of? Seven years ago, we, uh, we used to have, uh, we, we developed Seven years ago, we developed a guide of indicators for sustainable livestock and we have 35 indicators that can, uh, it's an assessment that the producer can use to have uh, a report on, on which level the producer has in, in sustainability. So which level the, farmer, the farm has in sustainability. So we check uh, many indicators such as management, social impact, environmental impact, and also the technical, more technical parts like animal welfare, uh, land use, and others, um, and others indicators. So with this tool, we, nowadays we have uh, more than a thousand farms um, fulfilling this assessment. And last month uh, we launched uh, a data summary that uh, shows which level of sustainability uh, these farmers are in Brazil, which are the challenges, uh, how can we do to improve and to, uh, to improve all these farms in, in a more sustainable uh, way. So sustainability is a journey. We understand that uh, new technologies comes every time, uh, every day. So we need to improve uh, always. So this, is, this, the, this data summary was the first publication that we have done. And we, in, in, we intend to have every year one publication of, uh, about that. Circular economy and uh, produce energy with uh, ethanol, bio ethanol. I would like to know we, there is also the opportunity to produce bioenergy with biomass. So that could be also a link with the zootechnical um, um, production. I would like to know if how do you see that uh, if if you have an idea about this link and if you think that could be the circle, the perfect circle to go on. Yes, uh, in Brazil we are saying that we can have the fourth crop. Uh, and we are calling that the carbon credit market. So one of the opportunity is to use uh, biodigesters in, in the farms to include this kind of uh, biodigesters to, to um, produce energy in, in the farms and also uh, selling these carbon, uh, this carbon credits to another countries. So this is another opportunity. Um, it's one of the options that we have also implementing in Brazil. How do you see the uh, farm to fork uh, strategy with the uh, Brazil uh, exportation, the European uh, Green Deal and transition 
change a lot in the, in the, in the commercial discussion or, or not? I, in my understanding, Brazil uh, produces commodities uh, mostly, and if we are not able to be sustainable, nobody on the value chain is going to be sustainable. So if our coffee is not sustainable, uh, Italian ristretto is not going to be uh, sustainable because you use our uh, uh, raw material. So we need to be sustainable. We are very worried about that and we are working a lot to improve our sustainability in all over our production systems. So uh, mainly I believe that we need to collaborate to work together with the Italian uh, industry and to in increase our productivity, increase uh, our, our sustainability aspects in our production to deliver a better commodity, uh, a less impactful one, to avoid or to reduce climate change.